proton transfer involve water alone then it is referred as specific acid base catalysis but when proton transfer involve other big proton donors or acceptor it is known as general acid base catalysis hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to discuss about different mechanisms of enzyme catalysis in most enzymes binding energy is used to form the enzyme substrate complex and the use of binding energy to form the enzyme substrate complex is just one of the several contributors to the overall catalytic mechanism so once a substrate is bound to an enzyme the properly positioned catalytic functional groups helps in the cleavage and formation of bonds by a variety of mechanism and among the variety of mechanisms the three most important mechanisms of enzyme catalysis are general acid base catalysis covalent catalysis and metal ion catalysis and these mechanisms are different from the mechanism that use binding energy because the mechanism which uses binding energy is based on several non covalent interactions but these mechanisms involve transient covalent interaction with a substrate or group transfer to or from a substrate so in conclusion the mechanism which used binding energy to form the enzyme substrate complex involves several non covalent interactions whereas these mechanisms such as general acid base catalysis covalent catalysis and metal ion catalysis involve transient covalent interaction with a substrate or group transfer to or from a substrate general acid base catalysis involves the partial proton transfer from a donor or partial proton abstraction from an acceptor because of partial proton transfer from a donor or partial proton abstraction from an acceptor lowers the free energy of the transition state and consequently increases the rate of reaction as many biochemical reactions involve the formation of unstable charge intermediates and the unstable charge intermediates tend to break down rapidly to their constituent reactant species and thus impeding the reaction as you can see here these two reactant species react together to form unstable charge intermediates and the unstable charge intermediates break down rapidly to their constituent reactant species because the unstable charge intermediates breaks down rapidly to their constituent reactant species and there is no product formation and thus impeding the reaction so now the question is how the charge intermediates are stabilized during the biochemical reaction and the charge intermediates are stabilized by the transfer of protons to or from the substrate or intermediate to form a species that breaks down more readily to their products for non enzymatic reactions the proton transfer can involve either the constituent of water alone or other weak proton donors or acceptors so catalysis of the type that uses only the h plus or oh minus present in water is referred as specific acid base catalysis and if protons are transferred between intermediates and water faster than the intermediate breakdown to reactants the intermediate is effectively stabilized every time it forms as you can see here but when water is not enough then what will happen in that case the transfer of protons to or from the substrate or intermediate is takes place by other weak proton donors or acceptors and this type of catalysis is known as general acid base catalysis and in this case many weak organic acids acts as proton donor or many weak organic bases acts as proton acceptor so in conclusion when proton transfer involve water alone then it is referred as specific acid base catalysis but when proton transfer involve other big proton donors or acceptor it is known as general acid base catalysis but now the question is how these things happen in enzymatic reactions 
and interestingly in the active site of an enzyme has a number of amino acid side chains and that amino acid side chains similarly act as proton donors and acceptors and these amino acid residues are glutamate spartate lysine arginine cysteine histidine serine and tyrosine and these amino acid side chains in the active site of an enzyme similarly acts as proton donors and acceptor in general acid base catalysis and these groups precisely positioned in an enzyme active site and allow proton transfers providing rate enhancements of the order of 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 5 and this type of catalysis occurs in the vast majority of enzymes in covalent catalysis there is formation of transient covalent bond between the residues in the enzyme and the substrate you can understand the covalent catalysis by using an example of hydrolysis of bond between groups a and b in the absence of any catalysis the reaction becomes this but in the presence of covalent catalyst the reaction becomes this Covalent catalyst is an enzyme with a nucleophilic group X. In the reaction, this is the nucleophilic group of an enzyme. In the presence of covalent catalyst, the reaction becomes two steps, as you can see here, whereas the uncatalyzed reaction is single step reaction. Therefore, we can say that the presence of covalent catalyst alters the pathway of the reaction and it results in catalysis only when the new pathway has lower activation energy as compared to the uncatalyzed reaction and both the new steps must be faster than the uncatalyzed reaction now the question is what is the nucleophilic group in an enzyme and the nucleophile in an enzyme is an amino acid side chains and the functional groups of some enzyme cofactors means a number of amino acid side chains and the functional groups of some enzyme cofactors serve as nucleophiles in the formation of covalent bond with the substrate in covalent catalysis so again the amino acid side chains that we have as nucleophile in covalent catalysis are glutamate aspartate lysine arginine cysteine histidine serine and tyrosine and in covalent catalysis the nucleophile of an enzyme forms a covalent complex with the substrate as you can see here and the, these covalent complexes always undergo further reactions to regenerate the free enzyme as you can see here and the covalent bond formed between the enzyme and substrate activate the substrate for further reactions in a manner that is usually specific to the particular group or enzyme in metal ion catalysis the metal ions that are tightly bonded to the enzyme or taken up from substrate along with the substrate participate in the catalysis means in metal ion catalysis metal ions along with the substrate participate in catalysis and there are two classes of metal ion dependent enzymes first one is the metallo enzymes and second one is the metal activated enzymes metallo enzymes contain tightly bound transition metal ions such as fe+2 fe+3 cu+2 zn+2 mn+2 or co+3 whereas in metal activated enzymes loosely bound metal ions are present and the loosely bound metal ions are alkali or alkaline metals including sodium ion potassium ion magnesium ion and calcium ion and these metal ions participate in metal ion catalysis in several ways and out of several the two are most important first one is the ionic interactions and second one is the oxidation reduction reactions in ionic interactions ionic interactions between an enzyme bond metal and a substrate performs two function first one is the it helps to orient the substrate for reaction and another one is the it stabilizes the charged reaction transition state and these ionic interactions between enzyme bond metal and a substrate is basically weak bonding interactions and it works similar to the binding energy of the enzyme substrate complex 
whereas in oxidation reduction reactions the oxidation reduction reaction takes place by reversible changes in the metal ions oxidation state so in conclusion there are three important mechanisms of enzyme catalysis first one is the general acid base catalysis second one is the covalent catalysis and third one is the metal ion catalysis general acid base catalysis involves partial proton transfer from a donor or partial proton acceptor from an acceptor whereas covalent catalysis involves formation of transient covalent bond between the residues in an enzyme and the substrate and in metal ion catalysis metal ions along with the substrate participate in catalysis so this is all about different mechanisms of enzyme catalysis in my next video i'll discuss about enzyme kinetics in detail